Undefeated fighter Guillermo Rigondeaux says that nationality and the money you bring to the table determines your place in boxing. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I had to cover this. I had to talk about this. Guillermo Rigondeaux, who just won. I don't know. It's kind of in limbo. I don't know if they're going to try to switch it to a no contest, which we'll get to. He tweeted earlier, and I'm going to read it, and you'll see it on screen. Rigondeaux says, In boxing, nationality and the amount of money you bring to the game is what determines how big and powerful deal with you. Fail is irrelevant. And he says, as always, the big powerful man picking on the little man. Those were his, his words. And I got to say, Rigano is absolutely 100% right. Right? Let's make no mistake about it. Rigano, he's dark skin. I mean, if you, if you honestly didn't know he was from Cuba, he's like Afro-Cuba, Afro-Cuban or whatnot. If you didn't know he was Spanish speaking, you would probably think he's black. Right? And what he's saying makes a lot of sense to me because we see it i mean we see we we just see it time and time again every like you guys really break it down and this is the thing me i've been doing this long enough so i'm not ever gonna be led astray or knocked off my pivot based on what people say i speak from the heart and i know what i'm saying is accurate especially in situations like this if it's a fight prediction or something i can get that wrong but when i'm talking about this i already know what the deal is and i know i'm right and this is the thing when when people if you've never experienced racism then you gotta shut the fuck up because you wouldn't know what it's like anyway you know what i'm saying like if you like if you've never been pulled over by a racist cop or had someone stare at you like you're stealing or just these little things that happen in our society you wouldn't know i've experienced that i've dealt with that you know what i'm saying some people don't even know what nationality i am but they judge you based on what they think you are or how how you look to them and, and things like that right i know people who are darker complected puerto ricans or dominicans and people think they're black and assume and stuff you know what i mean it's just it is what it is and we've seen a f unfair treatment from a lot of fighters who are American and a lot of them are, are black or minorities or like I said, Cuban. And it's really unfair, but it's, it's the truth and it's the society we live in. But like I said, I've been doing this for a while. So I know, I know the little detractor tools and what they try to do. If you like this video, some people are going to say it, and you'll, you'll see it in the comments and like i'm no soothsayer but i guarantee you i can tell you what people are going to say because some people aren't even going to have the integrity to watch the video so they just read a title and then they'll be like come on man why are you bringing up race why are you playing the race card man but that's why i have you beat because like i said i know you're not even gonna you don't even care about the the message contained in you don't care about the verbiage what's even being said you just read a title and oh man you're playing the race card let's get back to regular boxing there's no racism in boxing like shut up you don't know what you're talking about you know what i mean and it's clear as day to see and it is what it is this this is this is the society we live in so rigging out he's 100 percent right like I said, I, I will challenge any of you guys to analyze some of the points that I'm going to bring up. And you tell me it's not the you don't think race has anything to do with it ever. You know what I'm saying? Um, for example, like Rigonow, the what happened with his fight, it was, it was kind of an accident. Most people were picking Rigonow to destroy uh, Chucky Moises Flores anyway. But they were both scuffling and like the scuffle ensued beyond the belt and rigging out clocked him and jim lampley though he was going out of his way to convince that this has to be overturned and turned into a no contest like you act like you're promoting moises flores like this is hurting your label 
if it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you work for HBO. You don't work for Rock Nation. You don't work for whoever Moises Flores' team is and his promoter. Why do you care that much? You know what I mean? Those those things to me are concerning. Like, what's in it for you? Why do you care so much? You know what I mean? And a lot of people in boxing, they try to act like they are coming from this this place of such nobility. Like, they just care Oh, it's about, it's about integrity. It's about what's right for the sport. Get out of here, man. Like Mayweather McGregor, perfect example. The the biggest thing, and I, I told people, the real reason a lot of people are angry with that fight is because they know in their heart of hearts that they believe Conor McGregor cannot beat, cannot beat Floyd Mayweather. So not only is it an Irish fighter, who is probably going to get stomped in boxing rules, but it's a guy you don't like doing it, doing the stomping, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you lose everything. And on top of that, Floyd's robbing the bank because a lot of people think this is going to be easy work. And the the worst case scenario, oh, the worst case scenario is he lose. But if he wins via 12 round decision, he's going to be able to rob the bank for 36 minutes of work and get upwards of 150, 350 million dollars or whatever him and Connor can muster up from the promotion. That's why you're mad because you don't want to see him win like that. You, and you know, and then at the expense of a fighter you do like, like a Conor McGregor. Because I, I challenged people before, if this fight Mayweather McGregor were to happen in Connor's world, in Connor's rules, in the MMA, in the octagon, I guarantee you, people would not be saying this is, is the worst thing for the UFC or this hurts boxing they wouldn't care because they know conor mcgregor has a great chance in his world in his normal arena to do things that mayweather wouldn't be prepared to defend for right and that gives him i.e gives him a better chance of beating floyd mayweather that's what this is about like i said every single time here's another challenge every single time like a, a black american champion almost every single time a major in a major i'm not talking about just little small fs1 fights i'm talking about major fights it always comes with some kind of stigma or clause floyd beats pacquiao no he didn't because pacquiao was wounded he had a shoulder injury that he never declared and he wanted toward all and this and that or watch the fight in slow motion so after five years of debate and we're reduced to excuses terence crawford dominates victor postal leaves nothing to the imagination knocks him down two times i covered the fight live and guess what it wasn't good enough he should have pressed the action more crawford ran you know what i'm saying it's, it's always that if the if the performance is too good then they were a bum or this fighter ran things like that if it wasn't good enough you know what i mean it's like no matter what it is it's always something there's a, there's a conspiracy theory just like ward kovalev War just beat Kovalev. Kovalev was bending over and folding over. Why is the crusher, why is the bully hunched over? And why is he getting hurt by someone who slaps like a 15-year-old girl, in the words of Kovalev, before the fight, right? And Kovalev still hasn't admit that he was hurt. And the world's seen it. I was there live. I, I was in Vegas. You know what I mean? And now it's the, the low blow gate and stuff like that. Instead of just giving the man his propers, and just being like, damn, Ward came back. He came back correct. Some people are doing it, but there's a lot of people who aren't. And they're like, low blows. No explanation. No, oh, Kovalev was doing X, Y, and Z. It's just Ward won based on low blows. Some of you guys are so stupid, you don't even know what a low blow is. You have a belt line, and you have anything under that. Ward, if anything, he hit him on the belt line, which is questionable because it's all based on the proximity of, of how high your trunks are. You know what I'm saying? And Kovalev's trunks looked pretty high. So his belt line is going to be higher up. I couldn't even see his belly button. That's another indication. Someone show me a picture of Kovalev's navel from, pause, from the Ward Kovalev 2 fight. And you won't really see that, right? And like I said, there's always has to be some kind of stipulations on why that fighter really didn't win. Or if they won, it was they waited till the person got old or they ran or some extra stuff. So Rigadal, you the man, you a, you a G in the game, and you're 100% right, you know what I mean? And they act like, this video, I told you this video is uncut, because I don't really have time to to sugarcoat. Um, but 
The other thing I noticed is they want to market certain fighters as if they're the only stars in boxing. HBO is sleeping, absolutely sleeping on a gym in Terrence Crawford, right? This dude is kicking ass and taking names. And I don't see the, the same promotion that he's getting versus other fighters. You know what I mean? Like a Lomachenko or a Triple G. And to me, one guy's been beaten. Lomachenko's been beaten. And they're still saying he's number one pound for pound. Why would you put him above Crawford, who has 30 plus fights? He's been doing this longer at a higher level. You know what I mean? He took Bradis Prescott on with two weeks notice. Two weeks. Moved up a division where he was fighting at 35, and I think he fought Prescott at 40. So he moved up against his manager's wishes on two weeks notice to prepare. He said, nah, I could beat this dude. Chill out, Cameron Duncan. I got this. Beat his ass. Beat Bradis Prescott. Made him look foolish in there, and has been on and popping since. He slayed two Olympic gold medalists. Your York is Gamboa and Felix Diaz, especially Diaz. At least Gamboa gave him some rounds and gave him some work in that first half. But Diaz was really no match, and he was playing around, playing patty cake with him and destroying him, and, and eventually stopped him also. So he stopped two Olympic gold medalists. He beat a 50 50 fighter, a 50 50 fight, Victor Postal. Yet the guy with nine fights and a loss, Lomachenko, people were acting like we've never seen this before. We never seen someone that moves and has an offense. What are you talking about? Crawford can move. He can move his leg good, and he has an offense. So what are we talking about here? You know what I mean? And he hasn't lost, and he has more fights, so more data. And like I said, it tell the truth. Tell the truth. It's always gonna come out at the end of the day. HBO can keep saying, "Oh, Chocolatito's number one," and ESPN, Golovkin and Chocolatito. Now, what are you gonna say if Canelo beats Golovkin? What if what if Canelo stops Golovkin? And you just told us that he was the best. 25 in the last 25 years espn did right so let me get this straight two fighters that surpassed guys like terry norris and miguel cotto on the espn best 25 in the last 25 if golovkin loses that'll be the second fighter after chocolatito that lost now i, I could say oh, okay the chocolatito fight was controversial but he still didn't look great in his last two fights at all you know what i mean his eyes were swollen shut nails shut in the quadras fight and then he fought Sor Rungvisai, a guy who really only had one name on his resume, which was Carlos Quadras. And guess what? He lost the fight. Definitely on paper. And if he lost it to you, I was at that fight too in New York. If he lost it to you, maybe that's up for debate. But either way, he didn't look like a pound for pound number one fighter. Meanwhile, Ward jumps up in weight, more pounds than Chocolatito, right? He jumped up from 68 to 75, fights Sullivan Brer, who was Kovalev's number one mandatory, has a tune-up with Brand, fights Kovalev, wins controversially, and then rematches him within four to six months, and then stops him. The guy who was a champion in the division, a guy who was the Goliath, a guy who had more punching power, a guy who was the crusher, all these things, right? And you mean to tell me boxing has nothing to do with race? Get out of here, you know what I mean? But it's too easy, and we don't sweat it, we just keep moving. And we keep doing what we do. But I, I I promise you, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. People are going to look at this video and say, oh, you're full of shit, ego. You're just, why are you playing the race card, right? I have no reason to. I'm biracial. I can say whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? I can turn my cheek and act like I don't see this stuff. But that's not me. I've never been the one to tuck my tail and not be honest like that. And it doesn't make sense for me to do that. If I see something, then I can speak on it. And ain't no one going to do shit. No one can do shit about it. You know what I mean? I can speak my mind. And like I said, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. If I'm so wrong, then look at the growth of my channel and then look at their channels. The people who are saying exact, oh, there's no racism in boxing. Oh, you're being petty. Oh, this is, oh, low blows. Okay, you, Mr. Low Blow channel, right? Why are your numbers so low, right? Why are your subscribers so low? You know what I mean? Why are your articles have poor feedback? You know what I mean? This is, and I don't have to say this to gloat or, or brag. And if the person who did it is watching the video, you'll know what's up. I was at the fight in Las Vegas. A guy seen me. He's like, man, I respect what you do. You, you the truth. I watch your videos all the time. And I said, appreciate it. Then I seen him later again. And he dapped me up and put something in my hand. I was like, what, the, what is this? You know what I mean? And then I put it in my pocket. The dude gave me money. Just $100 on the strength. He said, consider this my donation. That's what he said. And then he shook my hand and then put something in my hand. So I'm like, what the hell? just off the strength so it is what it is at the end of the day i am not i don't have to brag or, or boast but these are real life scenarios and situations and like i said the person who did it they'll they'll know if they're watching this video so i appreciate you thank you for the support and you know what i mean i'm i'm good wherever i go 
and that, that's just what it is so if you guys can keep the smart person would see that you're on the losing side of of the battle and that battle is telling the truth versus these fabricated lies about fighters and then they would say yeah maybe i should change you know what i mean but a lot of these guys are just like the fighters when fighters are hurt like kovalev they're too prideful you know what i mean they don't want to admit like hey man i guess i can't start i have to stop saying such radical things that don't make sense that are race-based or this or that or i guess i got to start giving credit to these american champions who are doing the damn thing and people always say stupid stuff like this is another tactic that racists use they'll say stuff like oh you only like black fighters first of all that's not true second of all there are a lot of talented black fighters that is not my fault that's like that's like liking the lakers and you say oh why is your favorite player black you're racist you know what i mean majority of the the players on the team in general are black just like the golden state warriors most of the guys on there that have the superstar names are black or part black right that's not my fault i didn't create i didn't assemble this team you know what I mean? This is just what it is. So if you like Steph Curry, if you like Clay, you like Draymond, right? Whoever you like, it's, that's what it is. Livingston, they're all black. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of dominant black athletes in different sports. You know what I mean? And that's just what it is. But they'll try to make it like it's something beyond that. There are a lot of great American champions. Floyd, Andre Ward, Terrence Crawford, right? Deontay Wilder is very fun and entertaining, charismatic to watch. That's not my fault. That's just what it is. You tell me who's who's the best white American champion that you would put up with Crawford. Shout out to my dude Caleb Plant. He's one of my favorite, but he's still working to get a good name so he can show what he could do, right? But aside from Caleb Plant, name you name the white American that the world needs to get behind because they're on the same skill set as a Terrence Crawford, and they've showed you this much as much as Crawford has showed you, or Andre Ward or floyd mayweather you know what i'm saying and it's going to be far and few in between i'm not saying there's nobody out there but it, there are inherent differences but that's what they try to do they try to make it like because you see and you're 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 praising certain fighters who have showed you something because they have to be they happen to be from a certain ethnicity then they say oh it's, it's because you're being biased it's, it's just it's so easy to predict man and like I said, Rigondeaux, he's absolutely right when it comes to the race in boxing. I mean, we've seen it. You go to, you can go to certain people's channels and like I'm seeing comments, Ward beat Kovalev. He stopped him and they're like, fuck Ward. I hope he gets hit by a train. Why? Because he stopped Kovalev? Why would it be that? Or the N-word or this and that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they try to turn a blind eye to it like they don't see it. You see it. You just don't want to admit it. And like Bernie Mac said, I say what you're thinking, you know what I mean? I say what you're afraid to say. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. And that's just what it is. So, Rigonel has a point, and race does play a part in boxing. I don't care what Oscar De La Hoya is talking about. He, he said at one point last year, I think it was, that there is no racism in boxing. Months later, his golden boy brand was in cahoots or in communication with some writer who had some affiliation with ring magazine a company he owns and they're using the n-word so how 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 ironic is that de la hoya says there's no racism in boxing what are you talking about and then they're enthralled in some kind of um scandal with the n-word being thrown around in in cahoots or whatever i'm not going to say it's someone from golden boy directly but it's somebody that works for somebody that's owned for by golden boy you get what i'm saying so it, it just i know what i'm talking about i know what i'm doing and even as a channel owner you see it people they i do a post fight and they'll be like Nyeh. you know what i'm saying they'll just leave a comment like that you don't say what i said wrong you don't say anything it's just foolishness that's why you get blocked and we keep moving we keep making this money but rigging out you are 100 percent right i mean people overly protesting like when has jim lampley ever been that adamant you know what i mean it's like it's 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 a personal defeat for him when certain things happen when pacquiao lost to bradley oh, this is the worst robbery i've ever seen bang bang why are you that mad like you know what i mean i've seen were you this mad when pernell whitaker got robbed pernell whitaker versus julio cesar chavez senior was a worse robbery to me than the tim bradley 
because Pacquiao didn't even look good in that fight. I had Pacquiao winning too, for the record. I had him winning, but I don't think he looked great. He was fighting in, in very small spurts and flurrying and stuff like that. He was clearly the bigger of the two punchers, but he, he didn't look good. It wasn't an impressive performance to me. You know what I'm saying? But Lampley was so outraged by it. You know what I mean? You guys got to start giving these these fighters credit, equal credit. And and the last thing I'll say is I know what I'm saying because a lot of people, they set up rules, but those rules only apply for certain people. You know what I mean? You'll say, oh, Mayweather, he's, he's such a coward. Why is he fighting Conor McGregor? Knowing the fight's going to make millions of dollars, it's going to be financially successful. But when it comes to Pacquiao fighting Jeff Horn on ESPN, you say, oh, Pacquiao's a legend. He deserves that. Let a, he's old. Floyd's older than Pacquiao. So what are you talking about? Why is it okay because Pacquiao's old and he's a legend? Why is it okay for him to fight whoever he wants? Because he's old. And Floyd beat him. So Floyd has not earned the same right as Pacquiao. When he has an equally good re resume, he beat Pacquiao. He beat Cotto and other people. Another person people make excuses for. Oh, he's fighting Kamagai for a title. And those are title fights. Conor McGregor's not a title fight. You know what I mean? Cotto's fighting Kamagai and oh Cotto he's he has a great resume which he does he's already proven so Floyd beat him so Floyd can't do whatever you want so many double standards let me know what you guys think drop it in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hey comment and subscribe to the next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing <music>